Oh, it looks like an Alaska surprise from Seattle. One world livery. Nice. Ah, very good, Randy. Kenneth, what's up, man? Uh, the hub is Delta. Delta, Kenneth. Yep, you're right. Delta does uh, a lot of the uh, flying here. So we've got an Alaska One World livery. Looking sharp. The amount of people, uh, this, this is actually the last, the newest airline to the One World Alliance that also has British Airways and Qantas and American Airlines. So that's a 737-900 with the One World livery. Yeah, so Delta does about, uh, I would estimate about 70% of the traffic here, Kenneth. So it truly is a hub airport. So it's pretty cool to see it. Check Nine it out. Nine times out of ten, you think it's Copa, but it's actually United. JD, typically 747s are pretty rare here. We do have uh, four cargo arrivals tonight as we get ready for the Piedmont uh, departure here on the Airbus A321. Watching the tail here. Great way to early off in the show to start. 841 Heavy off to Atlanta there on that 767. 841 Heavy, 340 contact departure. All right, Heavy, 340, we're right. We're going to take off. No delay. Very good. Oh, yeah, Mark Hamill. Awesome, Mark. Traffic for 1 o'clock, 1 mile. Intermittent frame check, clock, bridge, clock, wind. 3604, only 34, exit clear to land. Yeah, it's still a, <laughs> it's very true. Yep, you got it. Okay, you're right. Still a CRJ to me. Oh, when did these fighter jets come in? You guys see this? I didn't even notice this, look at this. So that was our American departure to Chicago. And is your CRJ? Why would they have a ground stop though? They have crisscrossing runways, DBs. They should be able to get them in. Where are the winds at? That's right, Mark. It is an old army base, and now it's a, a lot of cargo flies into Rickenbacker. I want to head back to Columbus again to check out Rickenbacker. CRJ 700 taking off to Denver.
Yeah, I'll look at that ERBC when exactly, but I saw it earlier um, when I was looking at the flights. We also had at the beginning of this show, so about 20 minutes ago, a uh, 767 depart to Atlanta from Delta. Yeah, if you notice, I put that on the uh, title, ERB, to maybe attract some new people. Okay, so that, there we go. Yeah, we're in good shape there. Okay, here's our JetBlue from Los Angeles on an Airbus A320. Yeah, ERB, we had some morning rain, and I think if we're lucky, if the clouds clear off, we might have gotten a little bit of snow on the mountaintops, but we'll see. Gotta go around. ERB, that would be awesome to be on that flight. Didn't hear why they went around. Maybe unstable. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool, ERB. Yeah, he said it was too much weight. He said they were a little bit overweight. Can't dump fuel. Can't dump fuel. You could, but uh, you'd have the EPA and the FAA up your tail. Okay. But check out this KC-135 arriving. We have been blessed today. Nice smooth landing there. Uh, I don't think it's a necessarily... <laughs> ERB, I don't think it's necessarily uh, flight dispatcher failing. They may have just had uh, better winds. Honestly, when you are doing your final checks, that's one of the things you need to look at as a pilot, like how's our weight. Oh, and just when I think the rain's done, we get a few sprinkles here. Getting a few sprinkles here. I thought these clouds were going to clear up. Darn it. Thanks for that, Jose. And just a reminder, we're on the east side of the airport, so we're going to be monitoring runways 35 and runway 34 right. I know, I was just making something up, William. I was like, uh...
Yeah, I was just <laughs> making something up, will you? <laughs> Life. So, I got a professional broadcasting headset because that's kind of what I'm used to. Chase the pot of gold. Excuse me, guys. Well, I thought the thumb, thumbnail's pretty good and the title's pretty good. Uh, Flair, I've been working on the title to get more searches. But yeah, I don't know. I even said best scenery in the USA, which is true. On their E195 E2s. Yeah, I know where you're talking about, Jose, with the water tower, yep. Uh, some of the trees get in the way, but yeah, you're right. Or marry a Canadian woman. Delta triple nine heavy, taking off the JFK. There you go, Flair, here's one of your heavies. That's right, ERB. She, that's a good point. Thank you, ERB. We'll have to ask her about that. Awesome, Randy. relatively quick takeoff. I bet there's some empty seats on that plane and headed off to JFK. Okay, ERB. <laughs> So cool. I wish they would take off in tandem here. All right, here we go. Cover your ears. To Paris we go on this A330neo. So if you notice, it's got that iconic kind of raccoon over the uh, windows at the flight deck. And notice the circumference and diameter of the engines, a little bigger. So that's how you can kind of ten, tell a Neo apart. Those are, for me, kind of two of the characteristics. 
the raccoon-like screen on the flight deck windows, and the larger engines in circumference. Yeah, buddy. Tell them. The interesting thing is they're act the engines are actually a little bit quieter on the knee. That wasn't enough. I'll give you two more. <laughs> All right, here we go. But in robot, uh, once I get a trip to Atlanta, I gotta make sure to exercise every day so I can lose some weight. So when I eat all that food, I won't gain it. Because <laughs> Atlanta is awesome. But I would probably gain some weight if I didn't exercise. So I gotta make sure and do a lot of exercising. Burn some calories. Off to Denver they go. The plane is an Airbus A320neo. Four, four, right, line up to wait. Four, right, line up and wait. Step three, step three, step. Delta 758, contact departure. Departure, 